so many of us that have grown up in WA take the beauty of Margaret River for granted. But it's time to dive a little deeper on your next trip to Margs. There are actually six unofficial subregions, and the growing conditions, soils, and flavour profiles of the grapes in each are very different. Williabrup is one of the most famed subregions and where many of the first vines were planted. I'm here at Fishbone Wines, which was purchased by Kevin Sorgiovanni in 2014. And shortly thereafter, they opened this beautiful cellar door with a Japanese-inspired restaurant. Let's go inside. In addition to the original vineyard, there have been a number of new vineyards planted, including this one right here next to the cellar door. Fishbone's all about an experience, actually. So we came up with the concept of, um, of actually doing a Japanese restaurant here in Margaret River with a full table service. And the whole idea is to try and get people in, enjoy the food, enjoy the wines, and really enjoy the atmosphere that we provide here at Fishbone Wines. Can you tell me about the experiences you have on offer here? So Willie Abrupt's really quite notable for its pea gravel soil, and Cabernet and Chardonnay from this region is actually world renowned. We've also got the ability, uh, well, the privilege actually, to have some other unique varieties that we grow here. So we grow a really, really lovely Tempanello. Recently, we've just planted some Pinot. Don't really know how that's going to go because Pinot's more notably for a very, very cold climate area. So uh, we're looking forward to having our first Pinot drop in a few years. And we've planted a, uh, another variety, Italian variety, called Vermentino. Customers that come to experience Fishbone have an opportunity to try the, uh, the famous Cabernet Sauvignon that's grown in this region, uh, wonderful Chardonnays, and with the added benefit of having wines in a series of tiers. So we have a blue label range that has fruit that's also come from other regions, and predominantly the black label is the Margaret River regions, which is the, the iconic range under our Fishbone Black Label. We have a very sort of minimalistic approach to our vineyards. We watch what we actually add to the vineyard in the way of organics, and we produce some outstanding grapes, so much so that in 2010, we actually won Australia's most prestigious wine award, being the Jimmy Watson, and we're quite proud to be part of that team of great Margaret River winemakers. All tastings are seated, so I'm settling in for a seated tasting with Daryl, the venue manager. So to start you off, we've got our 2021 Sauvignon Blanc Semillon. The Semillon um, creates this slight herbaceous aroma to the wine. On the palate, it's um, really tropical, lots of passion fruit and pineapple characteristics in there. It's lovely, light, easy drinking white wine. Great for the summertime. That's lovely. So next we've got our 2021 Rosé. We make it mainly from Shiraz with a little bit of Cabernet in there. It smells quite sweet and floral. And then on the palate, you'll find it's lots of strawberry and rhubarb flavours. Uh, it's made in a nice dry provincial style. And lastly, we've got our 2019 Cabernet Merlot. And it's got this lovely intense blackberry and black currant flavour to it. Um, some nice earthy tones in there from the addition of the Merlot. It's very drinkable <laughs> right now. <laughs> this family-owned winery pride themselves on their quality wines and food offerings with head chef Julia carefully creating their menu around the local in-season produce. Japanese food might seem like an interesting option to pair with wine, but there are many natural alliances. I have a beautiful spread in front of me. Some of my favourites here. I have double salmon sushi and some fried Japanese chicken, along with a few other delicious options. Now, there are a few different pairings you could match. Both Chardonnay and Rosé will go beautifully with them. You've got the oily salmon, which the dry Rosé is perfect with, but I'm going to dive in to the chicken first because I cannot wait to have a glass of this Chardonnay. Such a treat. Thank you. 